jahitan lubang butang. Empat langkah. Satu, tukarkan penekan kaki ke penekan kaki lubang butang. Dua, letakkan kain di bawah penekan kaki dan tekankan penekan kaki pada kain yang perlu dijahit. Kemudian pilih corak jahitan nombor 15. Hidupkan suis dan jahit 5 ke 6 jahitan dengan kelajuan rendah. Kemudian matikan suis. 3. Pilih corak jahitan nombor 16. Hidupkan suis dan menjahit jahitan dengan kebanjangan yang sesuai. Kemudian matikan suis. Perhatian jahitan perlu dijahit dalam garisan lurus. 4. Pilih corak jahitan nombor 15 untuk menjahit 5 ke 6 jahitan dengan kelajuan rendah. Kemudian matikan suis. 5. Naikkan penekan kaki. Putarkan kain 180 darjah. Letakkan jarum ke kedudukan yang bertuh pada kain. Kemudian menurunkan penekan kaki. Pilih corak jahitan nombor 16. Hidupkan suis dan jahit sehingga lubang butang siap. Kemudian berhenti menjahit. Pemasangan butang Tukarkan penekan kaki ke penekan kaki pemasang butang. Letakkan kain di bawah penekan kaki. Letakkan butang pada kain. Periksa butang dan kain berada di bawah posisi yang betul. Kemudian menurunkan penekan kaki. Pilih corak jahitan nombor 15. Putar roda tangan perlahan-lahan. Laraskan kedudukan lubang sementara jarum berayun sekitar. Kemudian hidupkan suis. Menjahit empat ke lima jahitan pada kelajuan rendah. Kemudian matikan suis selepas selesai. Jahitan cross atau jahitan garisan selaris boleh dicapai mengikut langkah-langkah di atas. Jika anda mendapati masalah, sila rujuk ke sini untuk masalah biasa dan penyelesaiannya. Akhir sekali, sila perhatikan perkara-perkara berikut untuk keselamatan pengguna apabila menggunakan produk ini. Tutorial video of sewing machine FHSM 508. You can create a variety of fun projects with the FHSM 508 multifunctional domestic sewing machine. This machine is easy to use for beginning and advanced sewers alike. Its features include sewing sleeves, automatic thread rewind, and 16 different stitches to make your sewing more colorful. It comes with a built-in sewing light and adjustable high and low speed. You can change the presser foot to sew different fabrics and crafts. It's small in size, but with multiple functions. You can use it to change the old cloth and make a unique new one. Or make yourself a favorite pillow, small cloth for pets or dolls, a cute cup mat, curtains, bags, and more. 
it will be a good helper for your living. Now let's get started to know how to use the machine. Threading the machine. One, threading the upper thread. Put a spool on the thread spindle. Put on the thread spindle cover. Pull the thread so it passes through the bobbin winder tension disc. Down through the gap. Pull it back up as the arrow shows. Go through the take-up lever, then go through the hole to the next needle clamp screw. Easily thread the needle by sticking the needle threader through the eye from back to front. Put the thread through the wire of the threader and pull the threader back out. Two, replacing the bobbin. Slide the bobbin cover off and remove the empty bobbin. Put the new bobbin in the holder with the thread going clockwise. Hold the needle thread with one hand and with the other hand turn the hand wheel counterclockwise and the needle thread will pick up the bobbin thread and pull it up through the hole under the needle. Separate the two threads and pull them to the back of the machine under the presser foot leaving about 15 centimeters hanging there. Replace the bobbin cover. Winding the bobbin. Put an empty bobbin on the bobbin winder pin. Push the bobbin to the right towards the hand wheel to fix the bobbin. Unwind some thread from a bigger spool Put the thread around the bobbin winder tension disc. Put it through any one of the metal holes on the bobbin. Hold on to the thread. Turn the hand wheel to wind the thread of the bobbin several circles. Then turn on the power switch to start winding. When you have enough thread wound on, turn off the power switch to stop winding. Push the bobbin to the left or away from the hand wheel, cut the thread and take the bobbin off. Replacing the needle. One, hold the needle and loosen the needle clamp screw. Remove the needle and discard it responsibly. Two, Insert the new needle into the clamp with the flat side of the needle towards the presser foot bar and push the needle all the way up. Three, then tighten the screw. Replacing the presser foot. 1. Removing the presser foot. Turn the hand wheel counterclockwise to rise the needle to its highest position. Raise the presser foot lifter and press the presser foot locking lever. The presser foot will drop off automatically from the locking device. 2. Attaching the presser foot. Put the presser foot under the presser foot locking device. Lower the presser foot lifter and lifting the presser foot lifter. The presser foot will engage automatically. Using the adapter and foot pedal. Connect the adapter by inserting the jack plug into the DC input and the jack plug of foot pedal into the foot pedal input. 
Then you can use the foot pedal to control the machine instead of using the hand switch. More easier and convenient to operate. Sewing 1. Turn the hand wheel counterclockwise to raise the needle to its highest position. 2. Raise the presser foot lifter and place the fabric under the presser foot. 3. Lower the presser foot. 4. Turn the hand wheel counterclockwise several times to make sure there is no jamming in the stitches. 5. Slide the power switch to the low or high speed position and the machine will automatically start sewing. We recommend using low speed for beginners. 6. Turn off the switch, raise the needle up, turn the pattern selection dial to the pattern stitch you want. Here, I randomly chose 4, 6, 8, 10 to demonstrate. Seven. When you've finished sewing, turn off the switch, turn the hand wheel to raise the needle up, lift the presser foot, and then gently remove the fabric from the sewing machine and cut the thread with the thread cutter. Reverse sewing. To sew backwards, press and hold down the reverse lever while you're sewing. Sewing Sleeves To remove the drawer, position the garment over the sewing arm, then start to sew. Buttonhole Sewing 1. Change the foot to the buttonhole foot. 2. Put the fabric under presser foot and lower down the presser foot lifter. Then choose the 15th stitch. Turn on the switch and sew 5 to 6 stitches in low speed. Then turn off the switch. 3. Choose the 16th stitch, turn on switch and sew on the fabric in suitable length. Then turn off the switch. Note that try to keep sewing stitch in a straight line. 4. Choose the 15th stitch to sew 5 to 6 stitches in low speed, then turn off the switch. 5. Raise the presser foot, turn the fabric head back, Choose the 16th stitch and set the needle to the right position on the fabric. Then lower down the presser foot. Turn on the switch and sew till buttonhole is over sewed fully. Nailing button. Change the foot to nail button foot. Put the fabric under the presser foot. Put the button on the fabric where you need to nail the button. Move the fabric with button under presser foot. Check if they are under the right position, then lower down the presser foot. Choose the 15th stitch. Turn the hand wheel slowly, adjusting the position of the hole while the needle swinging around. Then turn on the switch, sew 4 to 5 stitches in low speed, then turn off the switch after done. If you want to nail cross line or double line, doing the steps as above. Now in case you have trouble in using the machine, we'll go over some common problems and the solutions.
Important safety structures.